Well, it's germ season. Your child is miserable with a cough and a stuffy nose. As News 19's medical correspondent Rosemary Belts explains, what may look like a cold may actually be something a little bit more serious. Rose, is that right? Thanks, Alicia. Well, it is a dilemma for parents because lots of viruses can make kids sick. However, pediatricians say there's one that affects kids the most. It's called respiratory syncytial virus, known as RSV. It's so common that most children are infected with it before they turn one. Almost all have been infected by the time they are two. That's because the virus is easily shared by coughing, sneezing, and even by shaking hands. RSV can survive for hours on hard surfaces like doorknobs, crib rails, and toys, spreading quickly and contaminating schools and daycares for a few weeks. For most healthy children, RSV mimics a typical cold with fever, a runny nose, and cough. But some babies and kids can get very sick with difficulty breathing, pneumonia, and may need medical treatment. The children most at risk for serious complications are premature infants, newborns, and children with lung disease or weak immune systems. For now, there's no vaccine, so experts tell us always wash hands with warm soap and water just before holding your child and make sure relatives and caregivers do the same. Regularly clean all toys and surfaces keep babies away from crowded areas like shopping centers, and keep them home when they're sick. Warn not to kiss babies. Yes, it is the holidays and their little faces can be really tough to resist, but it's also when germs circulate the most. Something else to consider, there is no cure for RSV. Instead, doctors focus on treatments that reduce uncomfortable symptoms and, and help patients breathe better. There is a monthly medication that helps protect high-risk babies. If you have questions, check in with your pediatrician. In the studio, I'm Rosemary Belt. Darcy, Alicia, back to you. Thanks, right. Rose. Thank you very much. Well, Laredak is teaming up.